Hey guys, Silent CL here. So we've got a very serious topic to talk about if you've noticed the video title there down below. Alright, so if you guys aren't familiar with the term data mining, let me explain it to you guys first. It is where a person has the tools, the applications and the methods to withdraw information from a particular uh, database, yeah, and uh, obtain it for themselves um, through, well, legal, illegal means. You know, in some countries, data mining is considered illegal. Sadly to say, Japan is one of those countries where data mining is considered illegal because it um, breaks um, the country's copyright laws and legislations and all that kind of things. Um, yeah, there are some countries out there where data mining is um, not looked into because the creators, the companies can't be bothered to go and trace whoever has data mined all the information out of their database and whatnot. So yeah, with that said, here comes the situ scenario or the situation that we've just gone through or rather some of us have gone through because we happen to follow a certain group on Facebook um, that posts about Uta Macross. Now a particular person on that particular group posted up a bunch of images for the upcoming first anniversary event. Uh, yeah, the episode plates were given within the event and the gacha banners that are paid. So why is this pretty unpleasant? Well, basically, it is, it is an enjoyable thing to see um, the episode play images that uh, you know belong to your favorite diva, um, it, and it's brand new. You know, it's very exciting to see. Definitely, very very exciting to see. But when the images are posted up before the official release by the company, you're breaking a bunch of laws, and you know. It's it's not a good thing, um, yeah. So let's discuss why this is not a very good thing to be doing, and what this person could probably have done to soften the blow for everybody out there who are fans of the game and fans of the series, my cross. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the company's point of view. You have just data mined a bunch of information that the company has not officially released um, to its fans, to the community, to you know the public who who are just learning about Ultra Macross and maybe Macross itself. Um, officially, this information of of some of the episode plates images were supposedly to be broadcasted. On the 1st of August, uh, the Ultra Macross live SP broadcast that's going to talk about the first anniversary, first anniversary content. Don't mind my words, it's pretty late right now. I'm actually back home um, after work straight away filming this video because I want to keep it as fresh as possible while it's still in my mind, you know, and I'm very tired. So <laughs> don't mind me, guys. Um, yeah. All this information was supposed to be released on the live broadcast on the 1st of August um, to announce all the content that is um, for the first anniversary um, of Ultra Macross itself. Um, yeah, and strangely enough, the, this bunch of people who have data mined the game decided to release the information of these images onto the internet uh, without thinking that, okay, this this can't be um, the wrong thing to do because we are spreading the love of Uta Macross you know, and all the wonderful images that are within the game to the people who enjoy Macross. Well, it, it's pretty noble of you to like... Um, try and provide the love of Macross to the people out there who love Macross or even to the 
newcomers or to the Macross communities, you know, that kind of thing. It is very, very noble of you. But, you know, you have just done something terrible without realizing it. Um, because, first of all, having all this information taken out from their database, you have just stolen a bunch of revenue from Dana. Um, because uh, the company has to hire artists to create all these images for the episode plates. Means they have to pay somebody to do it. Now, you taking away the images for free before the company announcing um, its official release of all this information, uh, well, basically, you have stolen a bunch of revenue because you're preventing people from having the... Um, they want to pull the gacha banner that these episode plates belong to or even you know to play the event to earn those episode plates um, that has those images because oh I've already gotten the images I don't really have the reason to play the game anymore for this current period of time I don't really need to spend money to pull the gacha because oh I have the images here actually that's all I really want I don't need the costume in the game because well, I don't have the time to play the game as much. I can just take the images off from these people's posts and that's it. You know? So, if you think about it this way, you have just stolen money from the company, you know, before they can even have the chance to earn it. That is not the right thing to do. Plus, let's look at a player's point of view right now. You have just shown a bunch of images that everybody would love to see. It is true fact, everybody would love to see those images eventually because that's what everybody loves Macross about. You know, the characters, the designs, the music, you know. And of course, all this official artwork of their favourite characters in a new light because some of these images are exclusive to Utah Macross only. Uh, some of these images are not even shown in the official TV series, the movies, the OVAs. You know, you know the, the, the extra content on the Blu-rays, the DVDs. These images sometimes are just exclusive to the game. Now, showing the content, like I said, before the official release by the company, it kind of steals the excitement away. Um, yeah. So, let me put it into an example for you guys, probably if you have a hard time understanding what it means to have the excitement being stolen away. Have you ever been to a live concert before where you scream and shout together with everyone around you who you do not know together at the same time because you realise something has just happened that has never happened before? Um, yeah, that's the kind of feeling it is. If you need me to break it down to you even more specifically, okay, let's talk about the artist is going to perform a brand new song that has not been announced anywhere at all. You know, the artist is releasing a brand new single with that brand new song, okay? And the information is only to be announced in that particular artist's live concert. But only the people who are attending the live concert will know about this information when it is performed. You know, because the artists and the managers have decided to release only this information during the live concert itself at this particular point of time. Right. So, before you even enter the concert halls to even begin the concert, somebody comes up to you and says, Hey, I've got a list of songs here that is going to be performed by the artist. You know, would you like to take a look at it? So you take a look at it anyway. And you realise there was a song title out there that you have never heard before, never seen before, because it's a brand new song. So with that knowledge, you feel very excited. Yes, you, you have the rush at the beginning before everybody else. Now you are sitting through the concert and... When finally the artist comes to the new song's um, announcement, you know in your heart that it's going to happen, yet 
you can't feel as excited because everyone else around you is screaming and shouting, Oh my God! Oh my God! It's a brand new song! You know, but you already, you yourself already knew there was a brand new song. So you can't feel as excited as everyone else. That genuine, genuine feeling of being excited along with everyone else is stripped away because you were curious enough to go and find out about this um, list of information um, that has been given to you. So that's pretty much what your, you guys are doing um, to the community, you know, by tossing out all this information out into the internet. And what really upset me the most was how you phrased your post. And literally what you said was, you know, I, I can't bear to hold this information in any longer. Uh, this probably won't hurt anyone. That is what you said. That really, really got me very upset uh, because you weren't even considering the feelings of the people out there who are playing the game genuinely uh, for one year and for people who have actually spent money on the game. You didn't, you, we weren't even considering how it may ha affect the company, Dana. You know, the, the game is kind of dying in terms of popularity because, well, as a Uta Macross fan, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. The game has nothing special to it. Um, other than the fact that it has awesome music, you know, the gameplay is pretty much repetitive because, well, there isn't much major changes to the gameplay except for maybe the event styles and the mechanics of the event itself. You know, and yeah, um, the songs are pretty much the only thing, well, the songs and the costumes of the characters and the dance moves are probably the only thing um, that is still keeping the game fascinating to the fans of Macross um, and maybe your, the snippets of hidden secrets when you dress up a certain character or have a certain Valkyrie equipped um, to, to a song and certain things happen. And other than that, you know, that's pretty much nothing special. Um, there is a rumour going around that, you know, six button gameplay is coming to Uta Macross so, Uta Macross as of now is only a 4 button gameplay, so 6 buttons, can you imagine? So it's like playing Love Life on your phone, so it's just that it's now Uta uh, Macross music, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's just a rumour, so we don't know whether it's true, we only, fi we only will find out about it um, if it's true or not on the 1st of August when uh, they have the special broadcast on YouTube itself announcing all the special first anniversary content that's coming to Uta Macross. Well, aside from all the episode play images that have been illegally released onto that Facebook group. Anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, maybe not all. Okay, here's one other thing. If you really want to put spoiler content on and onto the internet, please be kind enough to let players have a choice to decide whether they want to be spoiled or not. Don't dump the data there saying that, oh, I can't bear to keep this in anymore. Let me share this with the world. You know, yes, you can share it with the world, but please give people the choice to choose whether they want to spoil themselves or not. You know, I myself went into the group expecting to just answer inquiries from people here and there asking about Uta Macross. But here I am, I'm getting sh shot down with spoiler content on a particular post, you know. And it's just disheartening, you know. I didn't want to be spoiled. I never asked to be spoiled. And here I am getting spoiled. Put up warnings of spoilers if you wish to release information that has not been released officially. It's like showing a part of the movie that has not even gone to theatres before. 
Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this? Uh, leave me your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below or even on the Facebook community group that I'm posting this video off. You know, you can leave your thoughts in the comments on this Facebook post. Um, and let's discuss about it. And yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be positive. It doesn't have to be negative. It can just be your opinion, you know. Respect each other's opinions. Everyone has the right to their own opinions. This is my opinion on the matter. You know, it may be the same thoughts as you guys. It may not be the same thoughts as you guys. You guys may love the spoiled, co spoiled contents on the internet. But I myself, I do love spoiled contents. But only when I decide, my, I decide myself to be spoiled. You know, you know if I can... I can bear to lose the weight of excitement for that particular content then yes I would spoil myself but this time round I was genuinely excited because it is the game's first anniversary mm. it is a very big event but yet here we have people ruining the big event well, Alright guys, I have to get to bed. It's 3 plus in the morning and I did this video straight away after work so I am very exhausted. You can see my face is... Uh. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.